Hello, and welcome to the Naughty Hour. This is Clitoria Dandy, Vazgina, and JB. Ooh, special guest star today. That's super exciting. I love when we have guest stars. I know. I do too. But this is our first official one for this show. It is, actually. Wow. All right. Well, we're... I feel very privileged. Shit. Yeah. yeah. So today we're talking uh, oral, specifically. We are orally talking about We oral. are using our mouths to yeah. talk about oral. Yes, that's kind of funny how that worked <laughs> out. <laughs> Um, and as usual, as per our starting of last week, we're going to start with a new story and I'm going to get Vaz Jainan to start that off. Sure. All right. So every week we start with a news story about why we should have sex positivity, why there's this need for it. Um, so I think it was Friday, April 26th, there was a rapper named Danny Brown Mm -hmm. and he was performing at a big concert and... Some girl from the crowd got up, pulled down his pants, and started performing oral sex on him. And this was treated like this, this like big high five, you go man sort of thing. However, a fellow rapper and friend of his was quite was quite mad about it because she was thinking, you know, if this was reversed, yeah, of course, you know, it would be a totally different experience. And she actually had been in a similar situation, so she wrote. I'm mad that when two dudes pulled my pants down on stage, other people got mad too. But when it happened to Danny, the initial reaction was like one big high five. I'm mad that people are treating this like it's some legendary event. I'm mad that even though they know exactly who the girl is, nobody in the media will even talk to her. She continued describing the incident as a sexual assault, writing, Anybody who's exaggerating this tale to climax is also a lying fool. And to call it a blowjob is even going a bit far because it was probably the fastest thing I've ever seen. Wow. It was not something that Danny facilitated. It was an actual sexual assault, and somehow nobody gives a bleep about that but me. Wow. So. <laughs> so, I mean, that, that definitely speaks to the importance of sex positivity and the idea that um, there is a double standard when it comes to those kinds of things, right? I mean, there's a, a huge double standard for uh, men when it comes to rape, unfortunately, and that, that continues to exist in our, in our culture. Yeah, I mean... Not all guys do want it all the time, and unfortunately, they feel this pressure that if there is kind of, like, if sex is being forced on them, that they have to just kind of take it because they're guys and that's what they should be doing. But wow. I know a lot of guys that actually aren't like that, and you know, it's kind of sad that they can't just be themselves and consent. To- <laughs> Sorry, but that, that was a bit. Ooh, <laughs> that was exciting. <laughs> Uh, sorry. Continue talking. <laughs> I know. I lost my train of thought. So that's okay. It's okay. I'm trying to figure out. I what, think the, the underlying thing is consent, that having negative stereotypes about sex uh, interferes with people being able to have consent. Definitely. I agree completely. Even with the musical um, crescendo of importance there. do 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 That was really important. Got any, got any <laughs> comments, Jamie? <laughs> Not as of yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. These things will happen. So uh, to start our show off today, of course, we're going to start with a song about oral sex. Uh, this is a cover version of uh, Whistle by Flo Rida. Wait, is this song actually about oral sex? Yes, of course it co- is. I thought it was it. about kissing. What? No, you... Really? Let's listen a little bit deeply, everybody. Lyrics is important in this case. Uh, we're going to teach uh, Vaz Jaina you know a little really, Wait, You know what's funny, though? What? Is that... Uh, I know uh, kids at this dance studio that I know of. Yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> they like loved this song when it came out, and like all the kids would be singing and dancing to this, thinking, you know, it's about kissing. Well, there you go. Maybe there's an edited version, but this is the the general version. Oh of that. boy! Just think of the words. Look at the words. We're good. Thank you. You blow my whistle, baby, whistle, baby, let me know. Girl, I'm gonna show you how to do it, and we'll start real slow. You just put your lips together and come real close. Can you blow my whistle, baby, whistle, baby? Here we go. I'm betting you like people, and I'm betting you love freak mode. And I'm betting you like girls that give love to girls and stroke your little ego I bet you I'm guilty or honor That's just how we live in my genre Who in the hell done paved the rule wider? There's only one flow and one rider I'm a damn shame, order more champagne Pull a damn hamstring, trying to put it on ya Let your lips spin back around, come on Slow it down, baby, take a little longer can you blow my whistle, baby, whistle, baby, let me know Girl, I'm gonna show you how to do it and we'll start real slow You just put your lips together and 
come real close Can you blow my whistle, baby, whistle, baby Oh, here we go Here we go It's like everywhere I go My whistle ready to blow Shorty don't even know She can't get any by the low Permission not approved It's okay, it's under control Show me soprano Cause girl, you can handle Baby, we start snacking You come up in park clothes Girl, I'm losing wing My Bugatti, the same road Show me your perfect pitch You got it, my banjo Down it with your lips Like you blew out a candle So amusing you can make a whistle with the music Hope you got no issue, you can do it Give me the perfect pitch and never lose it Can you blow my whistle, baby? Whistle, baby, let me know Girl, I'm gonna show you how to do it And you start real slow You just put your lips together Come real close Can you blow my whistle, baby? Whistle, baby Here we go weird i'm sorry this, <laughs> technical this, difficulty again wow uh, that's okay we're new at this it's okay <laughs> this is one thing we're new at we're, yes one of the many things we're not that good at oral lack of experience right. back to oral <laughs> anywho uh so so we if, got some stuff i guess that was oral um <laughs> song. we so agree on it i think okay so for the guys listening and the girls or or other guys who are gay will appreciate this. If you do want someone to blow your whistle, blow your whistle. Mm-hmm. One of the things you might want to do is make your semen taste better and sweeter. Oh, yeah. This, this is a thing. That's always, that's always a good thing. This yes. can this can <laughs> happen. So uh, we we found ten simple do's and don'ts to improve the taste of your sperm. Wow. So then you can be like, hey, baby, my cum tastes sweet. Should get on this instead of being, <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this could be a selling. This could make or break your relationship. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but hopefully not. No, I was going to say, that's a pretty weak relationship. <laughs> <laughs> well, what if it was like a, you know, like a first date thing? <laughs> that you're like, well, oh. If someone's getting a blowjob on the first date, I really think that there's less that they could complain about. Sure. No, but I mean for, for the person the gr- giving. Yeah, giving, yeah. yeah. Well, that's very generous. They're obviously generous people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> thought it was normal. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Not something I do, but these things happen. Really? No. On a first first date? Sex positivity people. Of yes, course. Yes, lots of people yeah. do these things on first well, dates. Well, no, I'm saying some. specifically out of my own personal life. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. I'm just saying I've never done no, it No, but I'm still saying, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So one thing you can do is to cut out alcohol, caffeine, recreational drugs, and nicotine. Huh. Yeah, this isn't this is this is not necessarily like the fun way. No, it doesn't like... sound well. <laughs> if you're getting a blowjob, I don't know. It's a it's a trade up. Really. This is a trade up. Do you want your coffee or do you want a blowjob? Coffee or blowjob? Uh, uh, <laughs> Cream and sweet. Recreational that, drugs yeah. or blowjob? That that's <laughs> probably debatable. Yeah. <laughs> um, Drink lots of water. Okay, that one. That, that one's, one's yeah. a lot easier. Yeah, makes sense. Eat a lot of fruit, particularly pineapple, mm. papaya, melons, mangoes, apples, and grapes. Wow. So, like on a date, you just make sure you have an assortment. Yeah, of I'd be like, parts. hey, I-, I made you a fruit salad. <laughs> 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 why, why do you keep making me fruit salad every day? I'm going to try our fruit salad. Can we eat something different? No. Like, sure, have some water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but not that coffee. No. no, no coffee. Just water. Water and fruit salad diet. Continue. Plenty of vegetables are generally good for improving sperm taste. However, there are some to avoid. Veggies from the cabbage family are big offenders. Oh. including cauliflower, bro- broccoli, and asparagus. 
That kind of makes me gassy. And onions and garlic. And I don't know if gassy is good for blowjobs. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> yes. I don't think um, it be appreciated. No. Cut red meat consumption because it's one of the main things that makes sperm taste salty. And dairy product hmm. also makes sperm, sperm taste salty. Wow. Yeah. Deep. Basically, this is like eat eat healthy. Yeah, eat uh, healthy and then your sperm will taste good. Well, um, that makes sense. Let's see. Huh. Avoid heavy spices such as garlic and onions. Okay. Because they have a high sulfur content. Great. Oh. Yeah, that can affect the taste. Um, because <laughs> semen is naturally salty yeah. and sulfur is salt. Right. Fun. That makes sense. These are all like kind of, in, they all make sense. They do make sense. Deep down. Oh, here's a, here's a no brainer, which is kind of funny though. Number seven, do not buy products that claim to make your semen taste better because there's no evidence that they work. Oh. <laughs> huh. Don't. Wait, there's <laughs> products? Apparently. I've never seen one on the shelves. Yeah, now, but... however, there, that is possible that it's something you could find at a sex store. I just, I've never particularly mm. looked to make my yeah. semen taste better because I don't have, have any. semen. That, that's a fact. Fun fact. Um, parsley, wheatgrass, and celery are recommended for sweeter semen taste because they're high chlorophyll content. Huh. Um, cinnamon, cardamom, peppermint, and lemon are recommended for making semen taste sweeter. Oh. And, sorry everybody, but avoid junk food. Oh. They're loaded with chemicals and preservatives that pollute your body and your semen's taste. So, what you're saying is, um, if I'm to go out there into the big wide world, uh, and I want to find a man who, um, offers me an okay taste at the end of my evening... <laughs> You're telling me that I must date somebody who is um, into natural foods and not so much into coffee. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I know where to look now. Yeah, I guess. That's a hooray me. And the upside is that they're also, <laughs> they'd also assumingly be kind of healthy. So that's. That's a, yeah. I mean, like so they're two, two for one there. Two for one. Yeah. No additional issues in that regard. <laughs> Definitely. Um, so I've been looking up techniques for, uh, Cunnilingus. I love that word. We've mentioned that just last week. Yeah, it's like how it, it sounds like the act itself. Yes, exactly. Perfect. Perfect in, in every way, that word. I'm not very, as I mentioned last week, I'm not very into the idea um, of the majority of female words. Uh, vagina itself, to me, doesn't sound right. I don't know why. It's just it's like the V makes sense, but then there's the gina, and the gina makes it sound like massive it does like it's a gina. It's a ginormous gina <laughs> oh, can that be my new name ginormous ginormous vas, gina. Vas gina yeah that could work vas ginormous gina. Vas gina. <laughs> you can get lost in there <laughs> oh man um the other female words that i i do not like are things like just the technical names like uterus um, I'm actually okay with the C word. I'm one of the very few females oh, that are. The C U word? The C U next Tuesday word. I, I kinda like it, but but not in a like No, I wouldn't refer to somebody's hoo ha as Well it depends. Well you would, it depends on what mood I'm in. Yeah. But you <laughs> would call someone that, but you wouldn't call their I would never call a person bits. that word. I just think that I like using it in regards to myself. It's like a self-identification thing. Oh. Like, I'm being a really big C word right now. See, I cringe. <laughs> <laughs> I cringe anytime I hear that word. Like, it's just, ugh. Awful. Yeah. No, I, you I sh understand. You shouldn't go to the vagina monologues, then. No. They say it a lot. Yeah. A lot. yeah. Again and again. Huh. Well, I, I, anyways, so when it comes to this, I was looking up the whole when cunnilingus. Comes to, this? comes to cunnilingus. <laughs> <sighs> the things we say for fun. Um, when it comes to cunnilingus, I uh, I was re researching different techniques, and one that that supposedly was common sense to everybody else but me. I'm completely out of the loop on this. Is the alphabet technique? Oh, I had no idea. Oh yes. Okay. Sorry. You're JB was a one. bit out of the loop. Have you heard of this alphabet yeah, technique? Yeah, I've heard of this, and you know, I mean, cunnilingus techniques are are kind of they're a bit. Yes. Girls are so specific. Like each girl is so specific. Yes. Yeah. And so my 
the reason why I appreciate this technique in the, in theory, and again, I have not, I'm not, not aware if I've experienced this in practice because it's not like something that I uh, could ask somebody whilst they're down there say, why Hey, not? what are you, what are you spelling out right now? It's not something <laughs> I've, he's like, I've done. Honey, I'm, I'm going to spell the, al- I'm gonna do the alphabet. <laughs> I'm going to spell cunnilingus. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ooh. So um, the reason why I like this technique, I think uh, in, in theory is that the fact that, um, you would get through the alphabet and in addition to this technique they they recommend of course paying attention which is a big issue that some people who are not very good in cunnilingus areas cannot do right the idea that you need to pay attention to your partner when they're showing you gratitude it's the idea that maybe if you're going from like a b c d you get to a point you find a letter that works like e and you just kind of drive in home the e like e. E, <laughs> e, 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 okay, she likes it, e, 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 et cetera. And then, of course, at the end, o. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, uh, you get it. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of cunnilingus, now we have a song, and I think that I'm only going to be able to play the first little bit because it does get even worse than um, the first chorus and rift. I'm going to stop after the... Well, it's going to be in my head all day anyways. But I'm going to stop it after the the chorus itself. Uh, But I would like to give you a brief interlude of one of the most amazing versions of a really great song called um, My Neck, My Back. It's a... um, I'm... It's going to have the the P word in it. I don't know if that's a, a thing. Is that Okay. I don't. It, we can. How about we we're say this? We're talking about cat, cats. We're talking about cats. We're talking about cats. Please lick my cat. <laughs> um, so <laughs> anytime you heard the p word, we're talking about cats. We're totally talking about cats. So kitties. <laughs> kitties. Meow. So at the end Meow. of of the uh, chorus, we will stop. Um, but please do listen. This is a, a version by Richard Cheese, um, who is a interesting artist in itself. Uh, he, wait, wait, it's a guy that's singing this. Yes. Yeah. Trust me. This oh, is. Believe me. It is. <laughs> worth you I don't know, understand. Oh, it's, it's worth it this is completely worth it in most in every way okay. so uh please do listen again i'm going to stop it shortly after it starts but you need to hear this Fa- fun fact this is this has to be done excuse okay. me one moment oh, dominic <laughs> <laughs> i like that a little bit <laughs> do it now lick it good suck this pussy just like you should Ladies, pop your pussy like this. Shake your body, don't stop, don't miss. All you ladies, pop your pussy like this. Shake your body, don't stop, don't miss. My neck, my back, lick my pussy and my crack. My neck, his neck, my back, his back, lick my pussy and my crack. His crack. First, you gotta put your neck. So you get the general <laughs> gist of what I was just trying to do, I'm assuming, correct? That was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I think, you know, and it's it's interesting because when songs like that are, are reclaimed by the opposite gender, sometimes it, it doesn't work, but I think it kind of worked. It kind of, yeah, it worked. I think the, the backup chorus helped a lot. Definitely, yes. It's always important to have somebody who actually knows what equipment they're referring to within the context of that. Good discussion, for sure. <laughs> They may know a thing or two, is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Um, so that was that. That's wonderful. Um, in addition to that, of course, the whole paying attention thing, as I mentioned before. Yeah, I think the number one advice for oral techniques for both genders, or however you identify, mm-hmm. is to listen to your partner. Definitely. And also for your partner to, to give you direction. Definitely. Like some people mm-hmm. think that like, you're insulting someone if you tell them what to do, but... I mean, how are they going to to do if you just, like, if you don't communicate? Communicate. You have to communicate. Yes. I hear you, sister. <laughs> JB has a has a little bit of a personal experience on that. Do you want to talk about that right now, JB? Sure, yeah. Yeah, um, stories. I don't even know where to begin. Um, so my last boyfriend mm-hmm. decided to take it upon himself to inform me that I am not good at the act of fellatio. Wow. However, 
in saying this, he also said, he was like, well, I don't think that it's my job to really tell you how to do it. He goes, I don't know how to give a blowjob. So I'm pretty sure that, you know, that's up to you to figure out how to do it. Ouch. But I would ask him, I would say, I'm willing. I, you know, what? like, it's not like it's, it's not my first rodeo, <laughs> but I'm willing to like figure out whatever works. But you kind of have to tell me and he refused to give me any pointers, like nothing, not even a yes, no, maybe so. Definitely. Yeah. Wow. Um, what were the techniques that you found in your research? Any uh, Anything that you would wish to share with the general listening population? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so embarrassingly enough, um, I decided to go onto a porn website. And not to look at, like, actual porn, because you don't really learn anything, and there's just a lot of moaning and whatever. But there was this video yeah. that was... It pretty much was a porn star telling you how to give a good blowjob. Okay. Um, so some of the techniques were a little interesting, but there was like the typical, you know, the tea bag was a big one. Of course. Um, there was this like you have to you have to put you have to run your tongue in like like an eight in between the balls. Apparently, like, you're supposed to, like, wrap what? your tongue around, like, in a figure eight. Wow, that's a technique. I know. See, that we're going from, like, letters to numbers here. I know. <laughs> There's, like, a pattern going on here. <laughs> a, B, C, one, two, three. That's why you should stay in school. <laughs> <laughs> Learn your alphabet, children. If there are any children listening, you should not be, first of all, listening. Where Second of all, learn your, your alphabet and your, your numbers, especially eight and E is what we have decided. E. And, of course, O. Oh, of course. E, you know. e and O. E-I-E-I. O. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Uh, well, so that's good. I have something to add to, to that story. There's Ooh. a lot There's a lot of bad technique advice out there. Um, and I'm sorry that your ex was such a douche. Oh, but there, uh, that's like <laughs> his, only, that's only the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, his, <laughs> he wasn't even getting the tip in there. Right? No, <laughs> oh, not anymore. Not anyways. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my uh, first experience with, reading about an oral tip was in uh, Cosmo magazine oh. in grade, grade nine. I'm sitting, you know, on the lunch break with one of my best friends and we're reading it, we're giggling. And the advice was to treat it like a mango, like you'd eat a mango. And we'd never eaten a freaking mango. We're like, wow. oh my God, we've never eaten a mango, let alone <laughs> sucked a dick. What the heck? <laughs> so, so of course we went and bought a mango and went out to like this field by her house. And we're like, hey, okay, we're going to learn. Have you ever eaten a mango? You, you like bite into it. You, or you like cut it up. Or it's like everywhere. It's stringy. We're just like, how? How is this? How is it? We're, we were so confused. Well, then I, you know, gave my first blowjob. And the only thing I think about was this is nothing like <laughs> eating a mango. <laughs> Cosmo, you're evil. Of all the fruits and vegetables, a too. Mango. Like there's so many more. You have to peel it. Ones. Like, yeah. I mean, what's that? Peeling it. I mean, <laughs> oh, God. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, but Cosmo, like, Cosmo is no, nothing good to offer. I oh, remember no. one yeah. Cosmo article that I read in, in regards to giving a, an effective blowjob in which they recommended using a hair comb. Okay, this is getting worse. worse. Yes, no, hair comb. And you would essentially, whilst giving the blowjob, of course, there is the active, you know, it's not all mouth when it comes to, yeah, some to hands uh, and fellatio. There's going to be hands. But instead of hands, they were recommending taking a hair comb and gently sliding it up and down the top of, or bottom <laughs> of the shaft. awful. I know, it's what? not... Unless it's you're getting so unsexy. No, it's not Here's sexy my at all. Yeah. Exactly. Let me go get my comb. <laughs> um, unless what you're... if he has like lots of pubic hair? Like you the could comb just... oh. got like stuck. <laughs> 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 um yes also a possibility God, no don't do this no please don't um learn learn from our non-mistakes and no, our actual knowledge um and don't read cosmo for oral sex tips obviously not very good oh the other thing uh the cosmo like a few months ago my, my sister had an issue and i was reading it with the same best friend that the mango friend so there was this whole, like, how much do you know about a guy's penis? True or false? And half of their answers were wrong. Wow. And we knew just from experience. Like, one of them was that guys can't have multiple orgasms. Wow. But, uh, yes, they can. 
Yeah. Well, I don't. It's hard though. Yeah, they. they, they I have they, been I'm with, sure they can. I've been with a few, like a number of guys that I can tell you because of the. Yes, they can absolutely do this. Wow. Huh. I feel like my skill is lacking now. I know. Or like, <laughs> we're oh finding the wrong guys. Yes. So, it so seems... for all you guys out there that can have multiple or- multiple orgasms, the name's JB. <laughs> oh, this is <laughs> we uh we also received a little bit of feedback from mr big tongue yeah um so says, a message. uh i just want to say that when it comes to oral sex having a big tongue has never steered me wrong just ask my woman yeah i, I oh. think that's the thing um yeah, yeah. Uh, more this is um, yeah. another of course t- tmi this is essentially tmi central uh, yeah, up in here don't listen to the show yeah. if you <laughs> can't <laughs> handle <laughs> it but what i am saying right now is very true uh, my uh, co-host vagina over here does have a, a relatively large tongue and i have a very oh, stumpy telling everybody stumpy this? hey i i am inefficient in this regard my tongue is quite short so when it comes to um the ladies uh i feel like just like I was talking about my pinky finger being too small the other day, <laughs> I think that my tongue is a little too small. Um, definitely. Definitely. Um, in addition to that, I do have, uh, we're going to talk about, if talking about licks. Uh, I have a live version. It's a relatively edited version from um, BET of uh, Little Kim's How Many Licks. <clears throat> Very popular song. Oh, yeah. I remember this came out when I was, I probably too young to even know what they were. I literally, I think I thought it was a sucker. I I think I did too. Like yeah. a tootsie pop. Yeah, like a tootsie pop. Like can yeah, I? I oh. know that, how many licks till you get to the center? Yeah. Do you do you want to hear a, a non-oral sex short side story? Of course. When I was in grade eight, my science experiment was how many looks it took to get to a t- center of a tootsie roll, and I called the tootsie roll company and explained this to them, and they sent me so much free swag. Nice. Like they showed up at my school with boxes and boxes of candy. Wow. <laughs> and we're like, here you go. Wow. Thanks for, you know, basically advertising. <laughs> <laughs> I, I totally won because I like every judge that came by was like, what's a candy? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, I got third place. Yeah, that's anyway, impressive. Yeah. It's a lot of, maybe that's why I'm good at oral, because I, I licked like <laughs> 200 freaking Tootsie Pops. Tootsie Pops. Um, <laughs> Working in effect, those uh, muscles. Really <laughs> yeah. could help you with practice. Uh, in addition to that, though, Tootsie Pops, after a while, they can cut. Have you ever... Yeah, they do. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're not very smooth. Yeah. Well, um, here's here's a question. How many licks did it take? Well, it was different with different techniques. Oh. oh yeah. So like, on average, approximately. Well... It depend. It really depended on the length of the lick and how long your tongue was on the actual candy. So it varied between six hundred and like fifteen hundred. Wow, that. that's some commitment to yeah. candy. I enlisted helps of friends. Well, that's good. <laughs> that's nice of your friends. So let's play Lil Kim, a little bit of Lil Kim in here, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Everybody come up, A lot of faces, all hell I even mess with different races. A white dude, his name was John. He had a Queen Bee Rules tattoo on his He asked me if I'd be a safe for the prom, and he bought me a horse, portion of form. Bama from down south used to like me to spank him and come in his mouth. And Tony, he was Italian. He didn't give up, that's what I liked about him. He ain't my you from dog to the moon and call this girl up. What? Puerto Rican Poppy, he used to be a thief. Now he be sucking me off for the weekend. And this black dude I call K Pop, he had a big ass. Too hard. I'm hotter than a pop tart. 
fresh out of the toaster. Cause do anything for a little Essays, bloods, crips, all the thugs up north in a hoax. They all want to know. That's that. Um, so we we figured out how many licks uh, for a lollipop, but I'm not the uh uh, uh the oh oh uh, part. <laughs> uh, obviously we we can't figure that out on on the radio. That is a little bit strange for us to try. <laughs> um, so I, uh, I we actually got a really interesting new anonymous message. I'm really excited to read it to you. Um, it's in reference to JB. Hello. Hello, JB. Hello. Oh, awesome. Pretty awesome. I had a similar experience to JB with my ex, but from the opposite side. She didn't want, uh, sorry, she didn't want cunnilingus when I offered and gave no instructions. How do I avoid this with my current and future partners? Wow. Yeah. That's a really good question. Um, Vagina? Um, well, there could be, I think the first thing to find out is why your partner wouldn't want to receive oral because mm -hmm. there could be trauma involved. Mm -hmm. um, so if that's the case, then that's kind of an obvious. However, even with trauma, something that can be really helpful for a partner to do is to help their, their partner work through that trauma. Definitely. Um, which is a pretty big task to take on. It involves a lot of like pushing boundaries just a little bit, but also knowing when to, to back away. Definitely. You know, like a little bit at a time. Yeah. Um, which can be the case too, even if there isn't trauma involved, even if it's just like a self conscious thing or, you know. Yeah. Um, or uh. just, you know, some women don't even know that they might like it. That's true. You know what? Um, to tell you the truth, I'm going to give you some fun facts about myself here. Um, I was in a relationship for about eight years with somebody. Um, and it, in the early stages of the relationship, because I didn't feel um, safe in that relationship, I actually told him, don't don't bother i'll just i'll i'll do you you don't have to do me uh in that regard because you know the whole like i'll do you you do me type thing that that was what mm -hmm. that's what i meant by that anyways <laughs> um so it, it was about eight years that i actually went without cunnilingus because it was something that i was just uncomfortable with him in and around and down there and i think it was a lot of shame on my side and i can understand where someone comes when it comes to that issue however um if if she didn't want it, it obviously there's no way of of um pushing that on somebody but if you are willing um and you want to talk to her about why um then obviously that's a good relationship and just um trying to uh take those steps in a relationship is perfectly fine yeah and also sometimes people just aren't sexually compatible like if you really really enjoy giving oral and the person doesn't enjoy receiving it Unfortunately, sometimes the hard truth 
is that it, not everything works all the time. No, it's true. Um, I think in general, people do like receiving oral, though. <laughs> in general. Well, you like, know. I mean, not always. Yeah. I think, you know, but in general. Um, and the other thing, too, is if, if you do want to give someone oral, to, like, sometimes you don't necessarily have to verbalize it. Like, if you're already messing around. Yeah. So, like, consensually, you're already messing around. Just kind of going for it slowly, nicely. Mm-hmm can can work just as much as like some as asking because sometimes like verbalizing it can yeah. make people feel self-conscious yeah definitely um of course you know if you went for it and then the person said no obviously like, <laughs> again, just like an oral don't, don't in in relationships if somebody says no or no i don't want that or uh, then don't but as far as future partners i think one of the best things you can do <laughs> is after the first couple you know i mean gauge the relationship the first couple dates wise but like if it seems like the person is open enough to talk about sex you should have the sex conversation Mm -hmm. you should have the like hey what are you into what are you not into so that way before you even get serious you can figure out whether or not you are compatible because what if you have like some fetish that you need to have and the person's like oh i would never ever do that (laughs) Yeah, definitely. (laughs) better to find that out within the first week than like six months into it uh, it's like, oh, man. Yeah. And oh, that's no. why, yeah, like, I think having a sex life is not just, it's not just, like, the act of having it, but it's the act of talking about it, too. Like, yeah. it's that ongoing conversation of, you know, what's working, what's not, and it's, like, having that mature conversation. If they're not mature enough to talk about it, I don't think... Then it's not really worth it. I exactly. mean, communication is key in every yeah. aspect yeah. of relationship. And also, part of fostering sex positivity is taking that step to be confident about talking about sex Mm -hmm. definitely so you can't you know if you want someone to be sex positive and have that talk with you you can't approach it in this like hey uh so uh are you into you know um uh oral uh (laughs) great (laughs) you know you need to approach it with confidence and positivity in order for it to be a good conversation right definitely definitely for sure um keeping it mature yeah definitely not uh creeping people out yeah hey i really really like to lick vaginas baby (laughs) it's probably not the way to approach it or maybe on the first date the whole like (laughs) hi my name is ralph and uh i uh really like to uh lick vaginas not a very good opening (laughs) line um though i mean some people like forward so i'm not saying that this is not the best technique for all maybe Uh, somebody likes that you could be respectfully forward Yes. Okay. Well, how about we give an example of respectfully forward? Well, you know, maybe after you already asked somebody out mm-hmm. so that you're not just introducing yourself, yourself as, as like... a, a, a <laughs> giver of oral. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a good step. Step one. Thank you very much for that. That's right. I mean, I think just bringing up the conversation casually. Yeah. You know, you sure. could be like, oh, hey, I was reading this interesting thing. I heard this funny or, you know, I mean, you can bring things up or, hey, yeah. so... You know, I, if you like the person, you could say, hey, I really like you already. But like, just maybe we could talk about our expectations of each other before this goes any further. The sort of things we like to see if we're compatible. I Definitely. mean, I know if I was on a date, I would appreciate it if a guy said or a girl said it to me. You know, if the date's going well, I think it'd be nice if they were like, hey, I respect you enough to not want to waste your time. So let's let's talk about our compatibility. Definitely. Yeah. And if you're into like some kinkier stuff too, I think it's helpful because like you don't want to just all of a sudden jump into it and scare the crap out of the person. Like, I, <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> no. no. Yeah. I mean, it's. I mean, it is an awkward conversation if if you're starting fast uh, in in that type of regard in your relationship. So it is it is good to be able to have a, a slight discussion before it happens. Understand that that doesn't always happen. Yeah. Um. But it it is. It is a nice benefit for an actual relationship and not just a um, physical one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I actually have a list of more cunnilingus tips. Are we willing to venture further into the wild unknown of vaginas? Yeah, but first we, we got a message from someone that says oral sex is great. Kind of and spelt weird. Like aura. Like oral. Oral sex. <laughs> That's good. It is great. Hey, Anonymous, I hope you did that on purpose. (laughs) It's a funny pun. Um, I agree. Uh, So let's start slow. Tip number one, (laughs) 
start slow. <laughs> Fun fact. Okay, so this is on, again, We I like using Ask Men because it's a really funny website in my mind. Um, because, of course, men giving men advice is, is generally pretty funny. Uh, I don't know why it's funny. It's just uh, the idea that there's these you know just as much as cosmo is humorous and like it's a bunch of women giving advice to women about how it you should be as a woman okay anyway start slow <laughs> kiss your way down her body uh and tease her thighs and buttocks for a while yes that is a thing agreed disagree Agreed. Uh, agreed. Okay. Warm her up. Now, this one is interesting to me. Um, not because it's not something I've had re- given to me before, but um, the idea that uh, it's not something that I thought of as like a first step in oral sex. Uh, it says, before you even remove the panties or underwear, breathe hot air through it. In, into her genital area. It's a little weird. That yeah. is a bit strange. <sighs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, what are you doing down there? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it should, why would it be cold anyway? It's not, it's not typically cold, no. <laughs> oh, my vagina's really cold. <laughs> Could she blow up well, <laughs> Maybe in the north. I don't know. I don't know how that works. In the north. Oh, in the north or the north? I don't know. North or the north? <laughs> north or the our north? Okay, oh. um, so... It says step number three is don't dive in. That sounds really strange. So it says essentially what it says is um, don't just automatically go for the area that you would go for in regular sex um, with penis. Obviously, I'm not saying regular sex isn't that's uh, the normal, but I'm saying with uh, your if you are a male giving this to a woman, um, typically with um, or a woman with a prosthetic. Is that, a, is that a word? Prosthetic? Yes. Uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Um, if you are that person that is uh, essentially penetrating, we are saying don't automatically go to the whole penetration thing. Just go uh, lips first was the suggestion and then work your way in. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. For oral? For oral. I like it to just stay on the clit. Well, yeah, I know. But it says that you should... This is a men for men thing for some reason. Start by licking the outer edges of the oh outer lips. Wait, Weird. wait. I have a better idea. Number one should be ask the woman what she freaking likes. Oh, <laughs> number one. Number what one? do you like? What yeah. do you don't like? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't want me to just stick my tongue up there? Good thing, because ask men said it was step number three. <laughs> I'm glad I know that now. Wow. Yeah, that's so true. <laughs> Uh, so these tips are obviously slightly faulty. <laughs> I'm going to admit that fault right now. They are not my tips. Um, uh, like I was saying, we like to borrow tips around here. We do. We uh, we're sharing kind of caring sharing group. Sharing tips. <laughs> <laughs> not those tips. Um, <laughs> wait for the clitoris is the next one, which is really funny to me. I'm like, I don't know what you're waiting for. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait it's for gonna. It. It's coming. It's coming. Oh wait, that's coming. That's a, another. A sexual analogy. Sounds like a song. Like, like wait for the clitoris. Wait for the clitoris. We're singing a song about waiting. Oh, hi, guys. I'm the clitoris. I don't know what this is. Thanks for waiting for me. So glad you came. It took, took me a while to catch up. I'm not here. Oh, goodness. Um, seven... Uh, it's we we've, we've skipped a few because lick the alphabet we've already discussed but listen for her reaction there, yeah well of course yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, i'm down here but you know your your legs are around my ears so i can't listen for anything it seems sometimes they're like i have to hold my breath when i get close to coming that's true I can't, I can't come without holding my breath, which means I can't really make any noise. So. But there's other signs. Like, you usually, like, grab onto them. Yeah. Or, like, it's yeah. pretty obvious. I mean, I think it's obvious. It's not just listen, I suppose. It's, it's also pay attention. Body language, maybe, yeah. is a better yeah. one. Mm-hmm. Um, suck it up. <laughs> <laughs> like a noodle, it seems. <laughs> like the mango thing it's like, like a mango. noodle <laughs> um yeah so just that makes sense but i think i don't have to explain what i mean by suck it up uh listen for reaction again i think i already mentioned that one hum hum oh, again the hum i don't understand the hum it exists supposedly in in also fellatio can somebody yeah. explain to me the hum well i think with fellatio it's supposed to be with the balls yeah because it makes your lips vibrate mm-hmm 
but I, I mean, you know how silly mm. it is. It, to, it sounds to, ridiculous <laughs> to hum on somebody. <laughs> Whistling <laughs> Dixie. Mm. <laughs> but but not even that. It's can, literally like hmm. Yeah, you can <laughs> hum the on. alphabet. It sounds like you're a philosopher down in the between her legs. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> like hmm. I'm cl- I'm I, cl- I almost said clitoris. <laughs> I am literally thinking <laughs> about all these thoughts that I have gone through my head today, and I'm philosophizing in between your legs. Beautiful. Humming. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if humming works. Uh, 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 I'm going to say nay. Nay. No, nay on the humming. Yeah. yeah. Grab hold. Hold on to the thighs. Oh, I was like, grab, <laughs> grab hold of what? <laughs> what? If we're doing this, <laughs> I thought we were <laughs> talking. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> That's not what I want to talk about. <laughs> Teeth are not good in either active cunnilingus or fellatio. That's another thing Com- Cosmo told me to do. Teeth? Use your teeth. Like, yeah, but my ex also said that he kind of liked teeth. And I was I like, mean, but how much? S- some guys, I'd say not most guys from my yeah. experience. Mm-hmm. Some guys like a tiny, tiny little bit of teeth. But it's it's not a lot. It's like so minimal. Yeah, of course. Unless you're into like pain. Yes. Which is something you better tell your partner within the first couple of days. That's not oh, fair. I also had that. One guy that I was dating failed to mention the fact that he liked it like incredibly rough. That was a rude awakening. Yeah. You, see, yeah. this is why we need to be comfortable talking about sex. Because you don't. we shouldn't have to have rude awakenings. No, not at all. Can I uh, say 10? Yes. I'm going to say 10 in a really good way. Get your whole face into it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That needed to be said very intently. But wait, make sure you shave your face. Yeah, first. Oh my gosh, yeah. Shaving is ah, important facial wise. Sandpaper. Sandpaper. Oh, yeah. All up in that business. Yeah, no, that's true. There was, yeah, I had this one guy, and he, like, for whatever reason, he thought it was a good idea to, like, move his face around. Like, like a dog? Like a dog. Almost like a dog. Like mo- motorboating. Yeah. Essentially, but your vagina. Yeah. Motorboating but he is had for boobs. Scruffy. Yes. It, it, yeah, there was oh. nothing good about it. No. Absolutely not. You don't need to be sanded down there. You're pretty smooth as is in that regard. I mean, I I mean, doesn't mean I'm not talking about pubic hair here. I'm talking about <laughs> like in between that area and the general area. Yes. Let's talk about hygiene too. Hygiene for is both mm-hmm. for both men and women and everyone. Everyone. Um, if you want your partner to give you oral sex, proper hygiene. Proper hygiene. Clean it. Yeah. Clean it well. Yes. Pull back yes. the folds. The folds. Scrub. Oh, what was that? S- no, I smegma. Smegma. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> no smegma. What was that word? Yes. I, yeah, I had never heard of this until like three just, days ago. Just three days ago, we taught her about smegma. <laughs> oh, no. Um, it's oh. not a, a good word. If I'm not going to explain it in detail because it's not that it's great. Um, but please do. If you feel the need. Oh, wait, no. I'm no. going to say something first before I preface this. Do not just Google it. Do not just go on Wikipedia. I went on Wikipedia and there's an image. Oh, yeah. And don't, yeah don't, don't Google do that. image. Either. I don't Google image either. <laughs> no, um, everybody's going to do that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. But you're ruining yourself. This is not we you. Clitoria Dandy's fault. <laughs> not at all. Um, so, yes, look it up, but do not look on the images. See if you can block those images whilst you're doing it. Can you, are you able to block those images from your mind? Now? Uh, no. no I know exactly what smegma looks like, oh. and I feel, I feel the pain. That's unfortunate. Yes. Um, so clean. Also, don't be offended if your partner says, hey, do you mind just washing up first? Yeah. No, that's a very that's important not, thing. It's not rude. No. I always tell people that if I, I mean. It's not I rude. usually, yeah, I usually suggest like we hop in the shower first. Well, yeah, yeah. You can make it nice. You can be like, hey, let's take a like, shower. Yeah, it's yeah that's a good point. Yeah. In addition to um, that suggestion, it's also really important to just, um, what, how do I, how was I going to word this? I'll, I'll get to it. What is it? Oh, I completely forgot my thought. Oh, oh shoot. Well, uh, yeah. I have some fun things to fun fun facts about oral. Ooh. That I looked up. I'm excited. Um people, humans, are not the only ones that give and receive oral. Wow. Huh. Yeah, there are some animals that are into this. We're into animals again this uh, week. I think this <laughs> is some kind of pr- primate, but I don't <laughs> Can you How do you pronounce it? the first one? The first one would be 
macacute? Macaque? Macaque? Well, that makes sense. Cock-a. Whatever that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever that animal is. <laughs> Sounds like a dirty animal. <laughs> what, hang on, can I see this? Macaque. Macaque. This is embarrassing. I should oh. look this up before the yeah, show. No clue. Anyway. This is, again, why you stay in school. Um, <laughs> cheetahs, hyenas, and goats. Wow. Perform oral, and in many cases, swallow. Wow. Which brings me to another point. Um, men, this is something you can tell your partners if you are trying to persuade someone to give you oral sex. Seam is good for you. Oh, yeah. It gives a shot of zinc, calcium, potassium, fructose, and proteins. Wow. It's a veritable cornucopia of vitality. Ooh. How many times do you hear guys say that, though? But like, it's true. You want, yeah, but it's still, it's an annoying thing. Like, you need your protein. <laughs> well, I mean, have you ever tried wheatgrass? I mean, I don't know, semen or wheatgrass. I mean, uh, given a choice sometimes. Sometimes wheatgrass <laughs> is not the best option. Correct. <laughs> um, a recent study found that women who gave their men oral sex and swallowed had a lower risk of preeclampsia the dangerously high blood pressure that sometimes accompanies pregnancy. Hmm. So what? Are they saying that I, if that pregnant one women pregnant need to give blowjobs? Yeah, that it's good for pregnant women to give blowjobs. Huh. Interesting. Uh-huh. That's good. Good to know. Um, apparently that carnivores aren't as into oral sex. Huh. Vegetarians are way more into it. Wow. Um, I don't know if this is a valid source, so these came from random things yeah. on the internet so i mean it come on they said that the animals that do give oral are like a cheetah i think that's a carnivore pretty sure and uh something we discussed earlier fruits especially pineapple can make t- cum taste sweet so you know if you learn anything from the show eat some freaking pineapple eat some pineapple eat some pineapple and no asparagus yeah. oh yeah but that can also make your pee smell weird i know it's yeah. just i mean it's tasty but yeah no Oh, well, there you go. I'm I'm learning new things about uh, blowjobs, sorry, which is a, this is really the point in in most regards of this. Another this technique, at least that I like, is using an ice cube. Ice cubes are oh, always we, fun. Oh, we talked about this in the last show. Yeah, but for masturbation, we were, we're talking about this yeah. now with oral. Mm-hmm. Now you're talking about ice cube and mouth. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Well, but it's like I mean, it kind of it moves around, obviously. True. Yeah. Oh, wait, what about tongue rings? Yes. I've, I've never... Huh, no. Yep. There is a definite benefit, but it's almost can be too intense. Huh, almost too intense. And that is the thing about oral as well. Um, yeah. After a while of specifically cunnilingus, because I have um, a vagina, fun fact. Um, <laughs> after a while, it's it can hurt. Yeah. Um, and also everybody's different. So some people are not very sensitive. Some people are. This goes for men, women. Definitely. For sure. All, um, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Apparently it goes for like goats and cheetahs and macaques too. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is. Whatever it is. <laughs> it's a fun word to say like that though. Macaque. Um, so I... Uh, I have a couple more. And actually, you know what? I, I remember the thing while you were going through. Oh, I'm really, forgot? I really apologize for having one of those moments. It's been a long day. Uh, what I was going to say in relation to um, giving oral is that speci- specifically when you're talking about cleaning up, um, it is summer now. Oh, yes. Um, mm-hmm. And as much as the summer is a lovely time to go around and have a nice hike or hang out with friends outside um after a nice warm environment you may want to clean up yeah nobody likes the smell of ass sweat (laughs) 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 she said bum sweat just just fyi that was not the i don't know if we've we've said a lot of worse words i'm talking about donkeys oh yeah we're talking about donkeys just like we were talking about kitties before um last two facts on ask men are no one to stop and no one to continue so those should have been the first facts as yeah uh, as we have mentioned before you stop after she says i'm coming okay that was great yeah <laughs> mm-hmm. the, no yeah there's nothing worse when the guy stops too early and yeah. you're just like you just lose it okay yeah, yeah. and i'm sure it's the same for people with yeah the other yeah sexual equipment um somebody 
on anonymous again. This anonymous person is <laughs> hypersexual tonight. Uh, I'm eating pineapple now. Just saying, ladies. See, Whoa. if you were not anonymous, then maybe we would. Just maybe. Just maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Um, that's. It's. I mean, it's pineapple. I like Hawaiian pizza. I love. That's my favorite pizza. Yeah, yeah but remember we said dairy was bad though. Oh mm. no! Too much dairy. Too okay. much. We can have. We can cut the cheese a little bit. <laughs> cut the cheese. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. what we meant. don't. No, please don't cut the cheese. Um, I don't know. I there's a, a few things when it comes to oral that, um, that everybody needs to know, and most of it is is to do with communication. I think that's a really good thing that we've dri- driven home a lot today. Um, there's not much t- more time on the naughty hour. I am a little sad. I'm getting sad here. We clearly like talking about this stuff. Yeah, obviously we do. (laughs) (laughs) Um, There are a few things that we need to say in regards to the show and next week and how that's going to work. So next week, it's we're going to be Sans Van Van Vans. That's not your name. Vazgina. Yeah, I won't be here. That's so sad. I know. Um, So instead, there's we're going to actually have. Uh, Maxie back, which is great. Maxie back. Yeah, we miss you, Maxie. And we do miss you dearly. Oh, um, and <laughs> we like JB. We oh, do like JB. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> however, just so you're aware, uh, I believe what we're going to talk about next week is S and M. That's exciting. Yeah, I'm sad I'm missing that one. Yeah, I am. I'm sad that you're going to miss it too. But I think that we'll we'll see if there's anything that you need you think needs to be said. You should have a James Dean. That's that's true. It's you like should. his big thing. His big thing. Yeah, it wasn't a word. Yeah, that's his big thing. <laughs> he has a few big things. <laughs> that is one of those big things. <laughs> uh-huh, that's beautiful. Um, so I don't have any. I don't have a closing song today. I'm really sorry. Oh, we could. We're not singing anything. I'm sorry. No. Um, we know a few lyrics, some choice lyrics, but that we probably could do by heart. But I think that, um that with the amount of bleeping we would have to do it wouldn't yeah. make any sense to you but whatsoever what we can do is we're, we're gonna do this we're gonna post all the songs we wanted to play on our facebook page Hooray. there were so many songs about oral that we couldn't play <laughs> <laughs> and interestingly enough and this is uh i mean it's a i guess it's a racial stereotype but there, it's true it's true most of the songs about oral are written by black people it's true. Mm-hmm. We yeah. noticed a predominance uh, while we were doing that research, for sure. We have a theory. Or I have a theory. Oh, yes. Okay, continue. Theory. Because uh, there's a lot of black women that have, like Lil' Kim that we played, that have songs about oral, and not so many white women that do. And mm. also, the white women that do have songs about oral, it tends to be less explicit. Yeah. So, my theory, being a history major, mm. is that there's always been this like white virtuosity placed on white women. You yes. know, that they're supposed to be pure, they're not supposed to talk about stuff. However, 